Today, I want to show you guys how to make a Fru Alpha Hydroxy Acid Face Mask. This face mask will help exfoliate dead skin and unclog pores. It'll help clear up acne and it gives it like a tightening effect on the skin that feels absolutely amazing. So here's the recipe I've broken down into percents. So you can screenshot this and refer back to it whenever you want to make it. If you don't know how to transfer a recipe from percents to a weighed out formula, I will link my video down below where I show you guys how to do that. Anyways, let's just get into the recipe. So first off, you want a digital scale that weighs to 0.01 grams, and then a heat safe container to weigh your water phase out in. You want to begin with 53.7 grams of distilled water, be sure it's distilled water, then 1.8 grams of vegetable glycerin. Then you want to take your water phase and place it in a pot with about an inch of water, put it over a stove on medium heat, heat it to 158 degrees Fahrenheit, and hold it there for 20 minutes to sterilize all your ingredients. It's also a smart idea to take a piece of aluminum foil and place it over top of your beaker to help eliminate any water from evaporating and to make sure nothing falls into your formulation. So anyways, while that is heating up, you can go ahead and take another container and weigh out your xanthan gum. So I'm weighing out 0.6 grams of xanthan gum and this is gonna be the thickener that creates more of like a jelly texture for this face mask. So once your formulation reaches its desired temperature and it's all sterilized, go ahead and pour the xanthan gum into the water phase while it's still warm and blend it with an immersion blender. And after it reaches room temperature, so that's about 76 degrees Fahrenheit, you can go ahead and add your cool down ingredients. First ingredient is our fruit mix. This is also known as fruit acid complex. I purchased this from Formula Tour Sample Shop. They offer so many different unique ingredients, so I definitely recommend checking them out if you create homemade skincare products. You'll absolutely love this website. But anyways, this fruit mix can help it brighten the skin. It exfoliates the skin because it is an alpha hydroxy acid. It can also moisturize the skin and decrease the appearance of wrinkles. So this ingredient is amazing and I think anybody can benefit from this ingredient. So this ingredient's suggested use levels is between 1% to 10%. So we're gonna be using this at 5%, which is three grams. As you get used to it, you can up the percentage. Then you wanna mix the fruit acid in with the rest of the ingredients. What we're gonna be doing next is taking the pH level. So I just wanna make sure the fruit acid didn't bring the pH down too low because some alpha hydroxy acids are known to do that. I also wanna make sure the pH level is below six because our preserve we are using it has to be below 6 for it to be active and our pH is about 4.28 so it's perfectly fine so now we can move on to our preservative which is Optifin Plus and like I said it is mostly active in pHs below 6 it can work in pHs above 6 but it works best below 6 and I purchased this preservative from Formula Tour Sample Shop as well like I said they have amazing ingredients I definitely recommend checking them out I will have them linked down in the description box along with all the other ingredients I used in this recipe Recipe. So I used 0.9 grams of the Optifin Plus and then mixed everything in one last time. So then the last thing I did is I covered it with some aluminum foil and I let it sit for about 24 hours to let all the bubbles go away because when I blended it with the immersion blender it made a few bubbles so I just wanted to make sure those were all gone. So after 24 hours this is how it looks. It's a nice thick gel texture. It's perfect for like a jelly face mask. And then I just took this two ounce plastic jar to store my face mask in. And I don't believe I mentioned this, but this recipe makes two ounces. So this two ounce jar is perfect. And this is how it looks once it's in the jar. So now you guys are probably wondering how you use this face mask. All you need to do is grab a clean makeup brush or just use your hands, whatever works, and spread it evenly all over your face. I'm just using the back of my hand as an example. So let's just pretend it's my face. And spread it evenly all over your face. Leave it on for about 20 minutes and then gently wash away with warm water. And you're done. That is how you use your fruit alpha hydroxy acid face mask. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Let me know if you're going to be trying it. Also, let me know what you think of alpha hydroxy acids. Do they work for you? Have they helped exfoliate and clear up acne for you? Let me know what you think. Also, one more thing I'd like to mention is I do sell homemade skincare products over on my Etsy shop. I will have my shop linked down in the description box so it's easy for you guys to find. So I hope you guys have a great week and hope to see you guys next time. Bye. I'm stuck in the motions I've been consumed by the wrath of time like I'm pro I'm shattered in this life It's still the path that I've chosen Because I've had a vision Now I'm on a mission to find myself with me